What up brothers, it's the Club King returning for a brand new review on a figure that I got yesterday. A few of you knew I'd got it coming, I mentioned it in one of my last videos. As you can see, it's the Avengers version of uh, Captain America. Just show you. And as you can see, I've got him set up with the rest of the Avengers figures. I will say before I start this review, uh, if you look back on my recent videos, I'll just say... I've recently reviewed, sorry, the Orkai, if you want to check that out. The Luke Skywalker, if you want to check that review out. The DX Batman, if you want to check that review out. And also, the DX10 Terminator, if you want to have a look at that review. So they are on in my recent videos. So yeah, going back to this figure, like I said, got it yesterday. I was going to review it yesterday, last night, but instead of reviewing it, I had to do something else with it, which I'll say when I get to the outfit section, uh, pay attention to that because it's I had a problem that some of you guys might get. Um, I hope not because it was fucking pain in arse, but uh, like I said, I will tell you what I had to do. But all in all, it's a great looking figure, as you can see. Just describe the pose for you. She's got him uh, straight up and down, what a class as a poster pose. Or heroic pose, arms pretty tight to his side, fist clenched, ready for action. So like you say, it's uh, there with the Avengers. I've set him up with the other Avengers figures I've got uh, because I wanted to talk about the source material. Obviously the Avengers weren't biggest films at summer, probably money-wise the biggest. Uh, I did enjoy it, like I've said on the other figures that I've reviewed, the Orkai and the Nick Fury from the Avengers. And obviously... This is the third one that I've got, so for the source material, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5, like I've done the others. I think that Captain America is one of the key characters, and he's a little bit of a square, but I do think uh, towards the end of the film, he does sort of come into his own, and he shows himself to be like a, a worthy leader sort of thing. So yeah, really did enjoy the film, really did enjoy uh, Captain America in it, So, and I do think the outfit... He's fucking awesome, this version. So, like I said, the Avengers movie, the source material that this figure comes from, I've given a 4 out of 5. Moving on to packaging. As you can see, I've reposed the figure, and as I do in the reviews now, I will be trying to get you about 4 or 5 nice poses, and also in this one I want to do a comparison to the first Avengers version of uh, Captain America as well. So as you can see, I've swapped off the head, got him unmasked i've not put him with the hood um but i will possibly do that later or tell you my thoughts on the hood uh, but i just wanted to change it out really quickly get him reposed and i've got him just sort of as he's uh more kicking off sort of thing maybe throwing his shield that's why his hands open um and then i'm going to talk about the packaging in fact i'll talk about the packaging now you can see it behind him uh Pretty uniform to the Avengers figures so far. Complements the Nick Fury and the Orkai really well. Got the chromed lettering down in the bottom right. And then sort of the glossed uh, letter A for the Captain America. A nice picture of the uh, the real character, so to speak. Then on the sides, I can show you. See, this one's got the uh, wing symbol off, his, off the side of his helmet. So that's pretty much all the artwork on the box. Like I said, pretty simple, slip cover. Got the uh, Hot Toys logo down there and the uh, movie masterpiece series down there as well. Like I said, nothing too spectacular. It holds the figure really well, like Hot Toys boxes always do. Um, I do like the artwork, if I'm honest, but it is a slip cover. So I'd normally give that a three, but I think with these Avengers boxes, because I do like the artwork, I've been giving them a four out of five. So again, I do like the picture, so I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. But like I said, just to show you around the figure. Nah. When I've changed the head, I will just say, I have sort of put him in a position to make the joint from his neck to his head less noticeable. Now, that is a bit of a nitpick with this figure, but I think if you're sort of looking at him from there, I think he looks pretty badass, so not too many complaints to the figure as a whole. So, just show you that before I roll on and do the likeness and get him reposed. Beautiful. Rolling on to likeness. 
And like I say again, change the poles. Got him on me uh, my poles base, the new Goblin one. Everybody who watches me uh, reviews regular now, I do love this base because it lets you do anything you want really. And it lets you test the articulation of figure uh, versus the suit of the figure. What will he do? Uh, but like I say, I am covering likeness, but I'll talk you through poles first. I'm going to um, sort of mention both head sculpts and what score I would give it depending which edge you'd got on. But first, like I say, I've got the Battle Damage Shield on. Got him holding that, that arm. Sort of leap from somewhere or spinning in midair. His hand sort of balancing him at the back. One leg up, and one leg straight out as if he's jumping to a certain, another position. So yeah, got him in motion. Really do like that pose. I normally do put a pose uh, in every review where he'd be off at ground, uh, depending on who the figure is, of course. Um, not so much with a Terminator or something like that, but uh, anybody who would be sort of agile, I would put them in sort of flying style pose. But, like I say, you can see there, I've got the unmasked head on. I do like this head. Um, and I will say, I've not got the rescue version, so I can't compare it to the rescue version head. Uh, to be honest, when this figure were coming, I'd got reservations about that head. I do like the fact that they're, gonna, they're trying to do expression faces. Some angles, it does look like Chris Evans. Some, it looks a million miles away. But all in all, I'd say it's a good sculpt. It's awesome paintwork. I think the air is fucking unbelievable. In fact, if I turn it, I'll be able to show you the fade in the air and everything. I think the colour and the style of the air is uh, pretty bang on. So let's put, going right back. We've got like sort of short back and sides with it flicked on top kind of thing, or comb over style, which is pretty fashionable at the minute, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I think the teeth are done really well. In fact, the face in general's done really well, but it's still not hundred percent Chris Evans. And to be honest, I'm not Chris Evans' biggest fan, but there's, there's just something missing in the in the sculpt. I think I don't know if it's the expression or what it is. It's just something that throws it off a tiny bit. Some of you might look at it and love it, but. I don't know, I, I see I don't like to nitpick and I don't like to sit down and look at the the actual character, the actual person and then look at the character and everything um, and work out how long the nose is or whatever. I, I just know when I see it with my eyes, it's not 100%. I would say it's probably somewhere around 90%, 85%, something like that. You do know it's supposed to be, but it's not one you look at and you think, oh yeah, that is definitely him. Uh, and that's just the honest truth. I know some people do love this head. Uh, but I'm just I'm just telling you as I see it. So if I were to score this head, if this were the only head that came with this figure, because I do think it looks good on the body uh, and the t determination, uh, the determinated look on the face, there's something I like about it. So I would still have get it a four out of five. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just swap out the head. I'm going to leave the pose the same. I'll swap out the head and then get back onto the likeness and tell you what I think of the masked head. Right, the mask dead. As you can see, I have slightly changed the pose. Not massively, but just because I was taking the other head off, it moved a little bit, so I just uh, had a little mess about with it. Right, like I said, if I'd have scored the figure with just the other head, I'd have given it a four. If I was scoring it with just this head, I'd have given the likeness a five out of five because I think that is the best masked version of Captain America on market. I think you can tell that uh, Chris Evans is underneath that. Like I said, I don't know if it's because of the mouth on the other one that just looks off, or if this one's because he's got the helmet on and you don't see the majority of his face. It looks like it's bang on, but I just think the jawline, the jowl area, the shape of the mouth, the nose, the eyes, I think it's pretty dead on. Others might disagree, but when I opened it with this head on, I thought it would definitely bang on Captain America. Just to mention this head, it is sculpted sort of from the helmet down onto the neck and it is a really long neck so there's no way that you could pull the sort of collar down and see any unpainted area it doesn't uh, it doesn't do that i think the uh the sculpt and the paint on the helmet is really good i will actually show you the head sculpt on the other captain america as well in a minute uh, but like i said that likeness 
because it gives you the options and like i said both head sculpts are pretty good this one's my favorite head sculpt if i'm honest uh, and i would give that a five so for the figure i'm going to give it a five because you've got the option to use whichever you like best now if you just show the pose i did change it slightly like i said but not to a massive amount if you just bear with me i take all the figures out at cabinet while i'm reviewing so um, that's the that's the uh, first avenger ver first avenger version which i did like at time and i do still like it i think it's still a really nice figure but I just think, if you look over his shoulder, the newer one just looks more accurate. I will do a comparison at the end of this video on these two anyway, but I just wanted to show for the likeness. I just think the newer one is more determinated and, I don't know, I just think it is more accurate. So I'll get that out of the way, I'll repose it, and we'll roll onto the outfit and I'll tell you the fucking bastard problem I had with this figure. Nitpick time brothers, I mentioned it were coming, I'm going to go into what I did. The outfit in general is really nice looking, it's accurate to the movie from what I've seen, it is pretty functional. I'll start at the bottom, the boots are uh, pretty hard uh, plastic sculpt, really cool looking. I'll try and move it around so you can see all the detail. There's no movement at all through the ankles, you just will not have it, that's why like you can see this side of the foot's up because of how I've got him posed so there's nothing you can really do about that but like I say it does look accurate but it is a hard sculpt uh, they pop on and off really nice so you can sort of push the trousers down so the trousers aren't all rucked up around it uh, moving up the uh, the costume in general is less like the Orkai trousers which I are hoping it was going to be which has got like some kind of lycra through it but uh, still quite a coarse material this is more like the other captain america version like a, a denim feel to it the uh, cut and stitch is really good the padded knees uh, they are actually padded the zips are fake zips it is just a silver thread uh, same outside as well uh, but like i said does uh, does look well and does articulate a little bit better than the other version Going up, the middle section, I've actually crunched the ab joint, so I'll just show you what the suit will do. Um, it is, it's like a, a rubber feeling. Show your claws. It is textured. That's a uh, silver thread as well, which is supposed to be zip. You can see it's got the, uh, like a diamond effect on it. And you can hear it is like rubberized. And then underneath that, there's a white girdle, which sort of supports supports that area um, going round like I said, just tip back like that the belt they are sculpted pouches uh, on a cloth belt and it fastens, or it looks like it fastens there it doesn't really, it fastens it fastens in there and it is like, a, you can see it's like the things that attach onto the orchi it is sort of a, a metal hook and it goes through a thread a threaded loop so that's how it fastens and then underneath there there's a press stud which keeps it in the right place on the trousers so that's pretty good going up the back there's a zip it zips all the way to the bottom of his jacket but only just below his collar so that does unzip all the way up the um the jacket is stiff feeling it doesn't really restrict him uh it's sort of just loose enough so he can move around quite comfortably not massively articulated but uh, it is sort of two-tone blue as well there's different blues in there hopefully you can pick them up because the reviews I've watched has always got like a bit of a purple look that's not the case it is a blue now these are pretty rigid plastic on the shoulder and same there so it does hinder his shoulder movement a little bit and then going up, uh, this doesn't open at all the collar. And inside the collar, there's three press studs which puts the hood on. Now, like I said, I might put the hood on, I don't know, just to show you. Right, looking down at the star. First thing you'll notice on the star, this little fucking 
sort of a black chip effect on that spike. Now, I actually put that on. And the reason I did is, if you look here, all a little hole there. Uh, you can sort of see an hole here. Now, the reason for that is, if you look at that, look at the red stripe, the central red stripe, that star is pretty much straight above it and square on his chest. When it come for some fucking reason, the, this point were over this hole and it was twisted up like that. So if you looked at that, the star was somewhere over here. So what I had to do is, I thought it'll only be glued. What I'll do is I'll put a, like, a flat edge underneath, lift it off and then put it back in position and glue it on. Were it fuck only glued? What it's got is on the inside of his jacket, it had got another star, like a flat version of that. And it had got like uh, five spikes that come through and then it clicked into the star. So it was actually held by another plastic star behind it sort of thing. So of course, once I'd lifted it off, the spikes that come through sort of broke or two of them did, but to get it back into the right place. So if you look at it from there, it's accurate. Looked at it from there, you can see that now I've took it off. That would have showed his chest through there, but what I did is I put some blue material on the underside of his shirt so you can't really see that all too bad. But the star was just a million miles out of fucking position. I thought, I'm not having that, and I'm not shelling out 40 quid to send it back to Hong Kong for him to send me another one. So it was a quick fix, but... Because of when I lifted it off, I scratched that. I've got a little mark on the star, and you can see this all quite bad when you're really close. I mean, I'm saying really close up, about an inch away there with an HD camera, so you are going to see it. If I go to there, you'd need fucking awesome eyes to even notice it. But uh, that was a bastard with the uh, costume because I couldn't do it and then glue it back on him while it won't figure. So what I had to do is completely undress him, take the hands off, take this off, take his head off, take his belt off, take his trousers down, unzip his jacket and because of these two things on his shoulders could our fuckers like get the jacket off his arms because underneath there is not a standard true type it's more like it's a true type but then it's got a pec section sort of glued onto it a bigger back section glued onto it to give more definition and then same on his thighs he's got like a, a bulk section on so it's not like any other true type i've ever seen the arms are stock here probably like the superman arms so it fits the costume really nice. So when it's dressed, the proportions look fucking awesome, as you can see. But try and undress it and you'll know what fucking nightmare I had last night and why I'm reviewing it tonight and not last night. So, um, yeah, that was a nitpick. If yours comes and it's perfect, good luck to you. But mine didn't. Mine were proper twisted out of position. But now I've sort of got it straight above the, red, the central red stripe and straight under his face sort of thing. There were no problem with the A being crooked, what happened on the old Captain America, as you can see, but that was just a bastard. I've fixed it now, um, but like I said, I weren't happy when I got it because I, I noticed it straight away. So just to, the pose, pretty poster pose, just sort of coming to a standstill as if he's been running or something. I wanted to do it so I could like get to the costume really easy. So these are uh, also sculpted. Uh, they just go on like any other gauntlet you've seen. The hands that he comes with are all sculpted and obviously um, well sculpted as well and well painted. But I do get a feeling that they're just a rehash of the uh, the old Captain America hands. Then, like I say, the head is uh, a sculpted mask as well. Now, the costume. I think it looks fucking awesome and it fits him really well. We are hindering his articulation too much, but because I had that fucking nightmare with mine, I'm going to mark it down. I'm going to kick its ass on the outfit. I'm going to only give it a 3 out of 5. If it had come in perfect condition, I'd have probably given it a 5 out of 5. But when I had to spend an hour and a half fucking getting it how I wanted it, then that's no use to me. So, like I said, the outfit is getting a 3 out of 5. Moving on to articulation. I've pretty much just covered this while I've been talking about the outfit. The only restrictions are caused by the outfit in general, really. Um, slight articulation problem with this neck because it's sculpted all the way down but I think that's good enough I'd sooner see that than the uh, the dirty seam that you get on the unmasked head like I said the shoulders are restricted because of the hard plastic the elbows bend pretty easily to be honest to say the suit's quite tight fitting better than the other version did uh, there's good ab as you can see he has sort of I've gone sort of reverse ab crunch and bent him away gone for him like a, a pose as if he's doing a swan dive out of the um, 
out the back of the aeroplane like he does in the movie when he goes down into that park where him, Iron Man and Thor all have a fight sort of thing. So I've gone for him sort of just leaping off to skydive. Um, like I say, elbow's pretty good, hand's pretty good, rotate um, and tilt, swivel and everything. Same on both arms, obviously. Good ab crunch. Uh, legs pretty good, restricted sort of in these areas. Upper thigh because of the suit. The knees a little bit because of the knee pads and then no movement hardly in the ankles but the boots will swivel on the uh, ankle peg so show you the post from the side it's leaping off like I said so anybody everybody asks me what stand am I using it's the new goblin stand um, I do like it because it lets me do things like that so yeah the articulation it's good enough to say if if you make allowances for how good the suit looks uh, I do think it's the best looking suit of the Captain America available at the moment uh, and like I said the articulation doesn't take too much of a dint so I'm happy with it but because it has got restrictions I have got to deduct it points and I'm going to only deduct it one point and give it a four and a possible five but I will say that fucking pose is fresh as fuck in fact it might be more than fresh as fuck it might be fresh to death so yeah I'm going to uh, get her reposed and roll her on. Rolling on to extras. What does this thing bring with it? Most of you have probably seen it by now. There's a couple of reviews on already. Um, but I'll just go through and show you. Obviously, the unmasked head, which, like I said, is nice, but I don't think it's spot on. I don't know what's off with it, like I've uh, said in the likeness. But it's good enough for me. I would display it with that head and, and feel confident if I had the Iron Man with his Tony Stark head showing, Thor with his uh, helmet off and Hawkeye without his glasses. I would be happy enough to take the uh, masked head off and use the clean head on this version. So, um, yeah, it is good, but it's not bang on. Or I don't think so, anyway. Um, the original head is better for me. So, like I say, you do get the two heads coming down the hood i know why they did the hood for um screen accuracy but for me just don't work i've put it on and it looks shit i think and first one i put on the little nipple section on there snapped straight away i knew it would and it did i tried to put it on as fucking carefully as i could them two went on that one won it snapped um, I'd got it on, got it in position, I just thought it looked fucking shit. So that'll go back into accessory bag and you know, never see light a day again. So yeah, waste of material for me. Like I said, I know how they did it, but just not for me on that one. The hands, too relaxed. Obviously he's got his two fists on. So you get too relaxed. Good detail. Well painted, got the blue section on the grippers inside. So yeah. Two spread hands, for as if he's just thrown his shield. Again, good detail and well painted. Two shield holding hands. I've not used those yet because while I was reviewing it, I knew I'd be putting the shield on and off. But that would be the one I would normally use to hold his shield. I've just been sort of wrapping it around fist for this review. And then this one random pointing hand. I assume it's because it's Captain and he's giving out instructions. Uh, but then if that's the case they could have had another another left hand to sort of make it a complete pair spare set of hand pegs which nearly every figure brings now the two shields the eye gloss uh, clean version which is same as the uh, first avengers version see captures the light really well and then the more battle damage version with the uh, painted on scratches and sort of uh, gunpowder marks and everything again really nice don't catch the light as well I do like both and I would sort of alternate how I display them I would use both shields I will say one of the straps on this shield I had to glue it were straight out of box it were uh, one of the loops come off so I've had to glue that Octo is quality for you. I'm not going to bitch about it too much at the end of the day. I mean, my brother actually says, fucking, should it come like that? I says, well, no, he says, send it back. So now I'm really going to spend fucking 40 quid to send it back to Hong Kong. You just fix it, you send, and you move on like I had to do with a star on his chest sort of thing. So, 
yeah it is a pisser but what are you going to do the instruction manual and then the last accessory is possibly cheapest wankiest fucking accessory i've ever seen on an art toys figure it's this uh, i think it's a chitari style laser gun uh quite heavy feeling paint works fucking terrible at best uh, i think nanny d actually mentioned this as well you actually take his hand off and put the hand peg into that hole inside just looks shit when it's on i'll never ever use it i'd never pose it with that on just a total afterthought for me and like i say cheap as shit if that came with like a an asbro marvel legends figure you'd think what a cheap pile of shit and you'd throw it in a corner uh, and that's exactly what you think with this and this is on a figure that costs 160 quid so yeah complete waste of fucking spacing box for me that so all in all um i always give a figure that has a spare head a five out of five and i probably i'm still going to give it that to be honest um because like i said i won't use the odd i won't use this i will use both shields and I, at some point i'll use every hand so i am going to give it a five out of five but i've sort of conned me send because it don't really deserve that um but like i say only the the spare head makes a difference to me so yeah like i said a couple of things complete waste but all in all, not a bad set. So while he's in uh, this position, we'll talk about the value. I paid £160 to Tim Sent for this from eBay. He sent it me. It was in about four or five days. Uh, I've really been waiting for this figure. I s actually, um, I sold the Daredevil um, to a girl in the UK and uh, the money that i made from that i've spent on this so i did have the money as soon as i saw it in stock i bought it like i'm going to do with all the avengers figures i think uh, and i'm happy with the figure in general uh, like i said the nitpicks aside it is really nice um value 160 one pound uh, one pound 60 160 pound for a new release figure is probably average now it's it's not going to get much cheaper than that i could have waited and probably bought it from a uk seller for about 145 but then i'd have had a tenner shipping on top of that so i haven't really paid any more for paying for getting it from hong kong this one so like i say it's base price for a figure that like i said brings two heads so what would i value it at hmm because of the problems I've had with it, I'm only going to give it a 4 out of 5. The price is higher than I would have wanted to pay, but then if you compare that to something something like the Batman DX, that were like 220 quid, something like that. So it's not bad value for the figure you get. But like I said, I've had to alter the star and the fucking old shit and that laser gun shit. So I'm only going to give it a 4 out of 5 for value. So now I'm going to get all this cleaned up. I'm going to get imposed at side of the old... Um, the old Captain America and uh, leave you with some final thoughts right for those who's been counting I've given the figure a 29 and a possible 35 not an amazing score compared to a lot of the other figures that I've uh, reviewed recently but when you take into account I did mark down the outfit and the box and the source material it's uh, a really good looking figure all in all so uh, don't be uh, put off by the score because I would say if you are going for the Avengers setup, it's a definite uh, must for you. And any Marvel fan in general, I would uh, I would recommend it. Now I'm going to cover some uh, couple of points. What I've uh, want to make a couple of things I've been hearing or sort of related to questions I've been asked recently, along the lines of why do you uh, buy the new stuff and sell stuff on? why do you buy early to review is it for views uh am i do i just buy to review or things along them lines to be honest it's grated on me a little bit and the reason for that is firstly nobody buys my figures but me i buy them i sell them i collect them i rotate them anybody who doesn't like that or has got a problem with that then you're entitled to your opinion but if you're going to try and force your opinion on me you can fuck right off because i won't have it secondly if you're honest if you're looking at them two figures now if anybody's thinking to me them two look good displayed together then i'd dispute it and the reason i would never display them two together is because as good a figure this is this one kills it and it kills it because it's newer it's of more interest it's advanced 
in the um, the state of where Marvel's going. This is the current version. This is a backdated version. This one has slightly improved on everything that this one were bad on, namely the uh, costumes articulation. This one's improved. Head sculpt, this one's improved. The fact that you get the clean head, this one is better. And they are just facts, boys. Now, people will say, well, just because you've got the new one, you ain't got to sell the old one. I will never display them two figures together. So what is the point putting that one in a box to fucking sit at work when there's 100 and... I don't know, £120, £150 sat there. Fuck that, that's not for me. This is on eBay as we speak. If you're interested, have a look because this is going to get sold. Now, people uh, popping up with the Terminator. Just because you've got the DX, you don't have to sell the MMX. Uh, uh, the MMS. Uh, well, my point of view is, I'm honest, you do. Because the fucking DX version just pisses all over the MMS version. The classic Predator pissed all over the original Predator. There's no way that I'm going to have substandard figures stood at side of the new version because it just kills them. If I'd got the DX-02 when I'd got that outside of it, the DX-02 would have had to fuck off. It's just facts. Why would you want to put a figure at side of another one that because it's an improvement on it is going to kill it? I don't see a point to it. Some people might not want to do it, but that is how I do it. Now, like I said, I won't ever go to a person and say, sell this figure because this figures out if somebody's got the predator 2 when the new one comes out i'm not going to say you sell it because that's what i do i won't do that that's not for me to say but on the flip side to that don't then people do it to me so why sell your mms you've just because you've got the dx well the reason i'm selling it is because the fucking dx makes the mms one look fucking terrible it makes it look like crazy frog and they're fact so like i said if you don't like what i collect or what i review then unsubscribe and go away that's all you've got to do but like I said, regardless who it is, if they're your opinions or they're your opinions on me and or whatever, like I said, it's pissed me off a little bit because I don't try and dictate what anybody else collects. I review, I try and review honestly. I pretty much ripped this figure to pieces today because I fucking basically received a faulty one. But I've still given me true opinion on the figure. I'm not going to say, right, now everybody who's got that figure, sell that one. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, I've got that figure. I am now selling that one. Just because I'm doing it, don't mean you've got to do it. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. So if we've got that cleared up, I'm, uh, I'm more than happy to leave it at that. But like I said, this is a Clipper King and I'm out of here.